Homegrown Music is a production of the North Carolina Channel. Major funding is provided by Duke Energy. I know what I want for my energy company. I want to know that my power is always on and that my energy is cleaner, safer, and affordable. That's why as a Duke Energy lineman, I'm working hard to make that possible. I feel honored to serve our community. It's a good feeling knowing that I'm helping to build a smarter, reliable energy future for all of us, for my family and for yours. What do you say we turn this state fair into the party at the beach club? Come on! My name's Tim Eaton, and you're at the legendary Studio East in Charlotte, North Carolina. Just a, a very special living room here, you know. It's, it's not meant to be all polished and, and pretty and bells and whistles. It's, it's, it's a place you can come in and lay hamburger down, and like old Archie Bell used to say, you know. Lay that hamburger down. <laughs> I want to dance. <laughs> when I think about uh, the different artists, the great artists that have come through here, through this great studio, Studio East. I feel I'm very humble. Yeah, I feel like I can be a part of greatness. Legendary was uh, penned by Timothy White. Uh, Timothy White was the editor-in-chief of Billboard magazine. And Timothy White came down, just loved the place, and John and I used to hang around down at the beach quite a bit. He was a fan of one of the bands that I was booking. And um, so he came in to do uh, some recording and, and Timothy White was looking at all of the people that had been here through the years and, you know, from James Brown to Johnny Cash to Lester Platt and Earl Scruggs and on and on and on. And uh, he said, well, this is, this is a legendary Studio East now from this point forward. And this studio is such a wonderful place to record in and, and that's why I guess so many great acts throughout all of the years. I don't know when it started. I started recording here in 1978, <laughs> and it was already a legendary place for decades and decades before that. People think of music as their own. Um, they, they hear something and it becomes theirs. There's a moment in time where uh, they hear Carolina Girls or they hear uh, Beach Fever or they hear On the Beach or I'm quoting a lot of General's hits after he came down here from Detroit. This is Ken Knox from Detroit, Michigan. toured nationally. General was with a group called The Showman from back in the day. And he said, look, because um, at the time, you know, when, when you're with a major recording company, you have to have records out every three months. And then you're competing with the OJs, the, uh, um, um, whoever was out at the time, Earth, Wind and Fire, That's, we were doing shows with those guys. And he said, look, there's a music down there called Beast Music. I said, what, Jan and Dean, Beach Boys? He said, no, just old school R&B. And he said, I think we need to come south. General was a very intelligent person. <laughs> he knew how to, how to market himself. Um, and he found out that this was a place that he could really be a big fish in a small pond, which he was. Uh, he saw the phenomena of the, the, the music and the soul and, the, and what we 
sort of name down here, beach music. It's fresher than a summer day. Great lyrics. It's uh, it's kid friendly because every kid has been raised up on beach music, especially in the South, in the Carolinas, Virginia, Georgia. So it's it's kid friendly and uh, hey, it's safe music. I love it. Give me just a little more time. 